Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Zoom OSE's output system to control other applications on your computer. And the way we're going to do that is with an application called OSC Keypress, and it's going to turn our OSC outputs from Zoom OSC into keypresses that you can send into other applications. So, let's get right into it. Uh, so in this example, uh, we're going to have, at the request of Alex Lindsay from Office Hours, we're going to have um, a raise hand event inside of our Zoom call, remote control a, uh, well, he asked for a keynote presentation, I'm going to give you a PowerPoint, and uh, it's going to move you to the next slide. Now you could do this in, uh, in Mac OS with keynote and, uh, and OSC later, or OSC later, um, but in Windows there's this cool application called OSC Keypress. And this is what we're going to do to be able to turn the OSC output from Zoom OSC into an event that we can use, uh, specifically the space bar, to advance us to the next slide. So what we're going to be building here is something that, when we raise a hand in the Zoom call, is going to show a, uh, a slide inside of PowerPoint that we're going to then key into vMix to put a raise hand animation inside of the output stream. So uh, to make this happen, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Add button inside of OSC Keypress. And I know that the output for raised hand in Zoom OSC is slash Zoom OSC, because it's an output, slash user, slash raise, capital H, hand. And we're going to ignore the data and the data type, and we're not going to use any key modifiers. And the key that we're going to hit is space. And I'm just going to add a description that this will say advance slide, just so I can keep this organized. I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then we look at the OSC port here. This is the port that um, the OSC key press is listening to. And uh, I could change this port, or I could change it right inside of Zoom OSC. And you can see here I've done that. I've set the transmission port, which defaults to 1234. That's for compatibility with Isadora. And I've changed it to 8001 so that these match now. So that this way, when Zoom OSC sends an output, it will send it into the OSC key press application. And then OSC key press will turn the OSC that it receives into a space button. Uh, spacebar button that we can then uh, bring into the PowerPoint presentation. So let's put it all together now. So I'm going to bring my PowerPoint up and I'm going to run it in presenter view and I'm going to jump out of this here. I'm going to just make this real small and we're going to tile some applications on screen. So I'm going to bring up my zoom call, second display, full screen on my other monitor. This is going to bring my zoom back here so you can see what I'm about to do with the hand. And I'll bring up vMix so you can see that output. And uh, I've got, as an overlay, the desktop capture of the output of the PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to bring up the Zoom call, gallery view, and the participants panel so you can see the hand get raised. And then I'm also going to bring up my PowerPoint controls here so that I can keep my key hovering over that. And I'm going to raise John's hand here. And what you'll see is you'll see the animation play in the bottom right of the vMix program output. So here I go. I'm going to reset this to slide one. There we go, and I'm going to hit the raise hand button, and we see the hand raises in Zoom, and the animation plays from PowerPoint. And so what we've done here is we just created an event that is based off of um, an OSC event that we're sending from Zoom OSC, but we're turning it into a key press that we can then send into any other application. So the challenge for you is to go do this in Keynote. Go take uh, Osculator, which has the ability to do the same thing with the, um, the conversion of OSC formats, and then send it into Keynote and get the same thing working there. And let us know how it goes. Thanks for watching.